Hi, this is Debbie from Soican. You're watching Trucker Josh with his friend Diesel. Enjoy the show. All you other people who aren't so fine, you too. Hi, uh, it's a new day. We're here in Camerals, Alberta. I just delivered that steel, and now I've got to run over to Edmonton, which is about an hour and a half or so from here, hour and a little bit. And I already got my coffee, so we're ready to rock and roll, as they say. What? <laughs> She's staring at me. <laughs> So uh, it's it's time to get going. Empty flatbed behind me. I've got a load of lumber that's going to Minnesota. I'm delivering it Monday, so today's Tuesday. So I'm gonna be home tomorrow on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday I'm leaving so I can deliver Monday morning in Minneapolis and hopefully, hopefully get another load in or get loaded on Monday because Monday's the 30th, last day of the month. So I'm hoping I can get another load behind me before end of month. Beautiful, beautiful Alberta. You ain't never seen a place as beautiful as Alberta. I'm not even from here. I got a few cousins and aunts and uncles that live out here somewhere. So Camrose is just sort of southeast of Edmonton. So we just gotta meander our way north a little ways further. Shouldn't take too long. I don't have to tarp this new lumber load. All I gotta do is, they'll load me up. They're always really quick at this place. Throw some straps over it, book it home. I can't quite make it home today though because we're just over one day's drive and I've also gotta use some of my time today to drive from here to there. So we'll, uh, we'll see how far we make it. We'll see, how, we'll see, we'll see. It'll be nice. Uh, I've got another fertility appointment on Thursday. Turn right on Camrose Drive, Highway 13A. Huh? Here? No, not here yet. No, I can go here. This is a truck route. Karen, why are you telling me to go with the next right? I'm turning here. I know better than you. I'm the boss. The boss of this truck, anyway. So what was I saying? Yeah, uh, Thursday I've got a, an appointment with the specialist, the fertility thing. Me and me and my wife, if you're new to the vlog, me and my wife were trying to have our first child. It's taken a little while longer than it should, and so we've been going through uh, uh, going to the fertility doctor. In 500 meters, turn left on Camrose Drive, Highway Wait, 13A. Now you want me to go back? Meters, turn left on Camrose Drive, Highway 13A. Okay, Karen, you've lost it. Now she's telling me to go back exactly where I came from. Well, why'd you tell me to come this way if you wanted me to go the other way? Make up your mind, Karen. Seriously, she's telling me to go back exactly where I came from. I should have double checked your work. I thought, I'm like, it's only like 60 miles away. What's the worst that could happen? She couldn't mess that up. Oh, all right, Karen, you're a strike one for today. Every day is a new day. You get a clean slate every day, but you're a strike one. If you get three strikes, I throw you out the window. That's what happened to Mandy. Okay, tell me to go right back into town. I just left town. Now they want me to go through town the other way. Karen, the one time I don't double check your work, Karen, I trusted you. In 200 meters, turn left on Highway 13. You better not make me just go through to the other side of town and tell me to come back and just go through town. That's what you're doing probably. You're trying to get see how many times I'll go back and forth through town, right? Ridiculous. Come on, woman. You're a strong, independent woman. I expect big things from you. Don't waste my time, Karen. Continue on this road for 12 kilometers. I'll fire you. I'm not afraid to fire a woman. Don't let me down, Karen. So 
was I saying before? Yeah, my, my wife and I, we're, uh, I've got to go in for some tests myself. And so far, everything's all good. Uh, nature just hasn't smiled on us yet. But uh, we're doing all we can just to make sure that uh, there's uh, nothing preventing us from ever having kids. And so uh, Britt's gone in for several tests already and several treatments. Well, I don't know if you call them treatments, the tests and appointments. And it's my turn to go in for one on Thursday. So yay me. thing is coming out of the west though so uh, as soon as we get our lumber on us here we're gonna be pushed all the way home get great fuel economy unlike the ride out here driving completely right into the headwind for two days man did we go through fuel twice as much as we usually would it's terrible I'm lucky I had a good load behind me going against that kind of wind with a lumber load wouldn't really make it worth it so the wind is going to help me on the way back, is what I'm saying. So we are in oil country right now in Canada. Is that a new skyscraper in Edmonton? Did you guys get a new really tall skyscraper? That tallest one there, it's like towering above all the rest. I don't remember that being there. When did that happen? Man, those buildings come up so fast. It's crazy. Calgary's the same way. You know, when I was a kid, we'd come to visit Calgary, the skyline looked completely different. Alberta just grows so fast. It's like Winnipeg, we get like one new big building every generation. Like, we've got one new building, we have that hydro building. We got the Manitoba Hydro Building, that's it. And that's not even that big of a building. I think it's what, like 20 some stories tall? Our tallest building is 33 stories. Not enough going on in Manitoba. Like I always say, I'm okay with that. I'll be the little guy, that's cool. So how far am I away? Well, I gotta go to the other corner. I'm in the northeast corner of Edmonton right now. I gotta get over to the northwest corner. This is an exit lane. That uh, does not serve my purpose very well. We'll go in this lane, we'll try this one. about an hour or so and we'll be headed in the other direction with our load and we're off told you it'd be quick feeling tired today all of a sudden like drained what the hell is going on just driving through Edmonton I guess <laughs> drains the person so we're on highway 16 uh, eastbound again headed back towards Winnipeg we have eight hours and 49 minutes available to us to drive and I've got 1,303 kilometers to go, so we're not gonna make it there today. But we'll get home tomorrow. And then I'll be home for a few days. Gotta get a few things done. You guys remember this lot? When Britt was along with me, we almost got stuck here. <laughs> just off to our left over there, it was just mud. You know, why don't we go drive over it right now just to say that we conquered it. <laughs> Yeah, we just about sunk in over here, right where we're driving. 
And you know what? It tried to win. It tried to take me, but look at this. I'm not afraid of you, mud. Right about here is where we got all stuck in the mud. <laughs> you can't scare Trucker Josh. But anyways, yeah, we're here at the Petro Pass. Uh, sort of between Lloydminster and Edmonton. Just gonna grab a coffee. Take a little break. Uh, now that we're loaded, I'll show you the freight that we got on behind us as well. I haven't shown you yet. I just sort of rushed out of there. I'm kind of in a hurry because, you know, going home. I've got to be careful how loud I say that. Every time I say that, Diesel starts getting very excited. Oh, 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 bumps. Oh, I just bought these new tires. I'm going to lose them in these potholes. Oh, boy. Oh, that guy's moving. <laughs> All right. There we go. Oh, buddy, you're sort of stick, sticking out into my lane there a little bit. We're going through Lloydminster right now. We're on the Saskatchewan side of the border. We got this beautiful find a little find a little drizzle this little misting that's just just enough to annoy you to keep the wipers on but not quite enough to actually you know be rain it's creating a nice little rainbow up there though at least we know the whole world's not going to flood right so i still have what seven hours available to me Oh, it's gonna be a it's gonna be that kind of day. Yep <laughs> across the prairies Lots of scenery ahead today scale open here coming into Saskatchewan right on right on usually when they have this scale open they're doing inspections uh, let's see what they're up to what do you want there's a guy on the scale right now that's stopped there it looks like there's a bit of a lineup of trucks behind him maybe they'll be busy with him, maybe he didn't like secure his load properly and they'll pull him in and they'll be too busy to look at me. <laughs> not that I got anything to hide, but still. I'd rather not spend my evening here with them doing inspections just to prove to them that I have nothing to show them. I'd rather just go home. I think they should go home too. Maybe we can all just go home and have a big happy barbecue. How about that? I don't know what they call them. Meters. Turn left on. Oh, calm down, Karen. Highway. We gotta go talk to the trucker cops. No. Turn if possible. No. Three hundred meters. We gotta talk to the trucker cops here first. Or uh, hopefully we don't have to talk to them. We gotta, they gotta wave it. No, I'm not even gonna wave. Nope. In four hundred meters, turn left on Trans Canada Highway, Highway 16. Okie dokie then. Let's see what they want. See how long it's taken here? This is Saskatchewan. It's, looks like they're just checking weights today, but usually if they're open, they're, they're open. Like open, open, like inspections open. Well, looks like they were busy talking to that guy, just like I thought. Oh boy, we're pretty close. That's pretty heavy, thanks. It looks like they're uh, busy talking to this guy off to the right. That's the guy I was talking about before that was sitting on meters. the scale. Turn left on Trans Canada Highway, Highway 16. 
Karen. Karen, I know you really want to be a part of the vlog, but you, you don't have to interrupt me every single time. Yeah, I guess he was, uh, he did something wrong. So they're busy talking to him and I <laughs> got to sneak through. <laughs> Off we go. I'm gonna have to double uh, or weigh this again at our yard tomorrow. I'm nowhere near illegal for Canada. Well, what else am I gonna do, Karen? Mandy, Karen, can't Karen, Mandy? Whatever your name is, she's gonna smack me yet. But yeah, I gotta go and scale this at our yard just to make double sure that I'm not uh, overweight for the U.S. in the back. <coughs> I don't think so. They look kind of close there. But I'm definitely not even close to being overweight here in Canada, so I got nothing to worry about. And if I am, then I have uh, the yard staff there that can, <coughs> excuse me, the yard staff can help me rearrange it. I got like a scratchy throat today. What's going on? There she is. It's windy out today, but that's the load. Beautiful, eh? It's going all the way down to the Minneapolis area. Minnesota. And we're back in our familiar stomping grounds, Saskatchewan. And driving down there with his high beams on. It's amazing. Today's been specifically bad with drivers in cars and semis, you know, driving with their high beams on in traffic. In one kilometer, keep to the left on Highway 16 East. Now it's like the more I talk about it, the worse it gets. <laughs> the more I tell people to stop doing it, the more they do it. Uh, what I don't understand is when, like, you know, truck drivers are running through traffic with their high beams on. I mean, I've forgotten them on before, too, so I try to cut people some slack, but... Man, it's just a pet peeve of mine. <laughs> uh, so I think we're going to go up to Davidson, Saskatchewan. I'm getting kind of tired already. I want to go a little further in Saskatoon here. But uh, not too much further. We'll see how I feel once I get there. I'm gonna need to grab fuel there anyway. And uh, I'll probably just end up sleeping there. I need to go to bed. I've got a headache. I'm getting a headache, a little pressure in my head. I'd like to go around Mr. Bison here because he's getting paid by the hour. And here we go. Change lanes. Oh, it's not actually Mr. Bison, it's the uh, tanker in front of him. That's cool. That makes more sense because these guys, I don't know if they get paid by the hour or not. I think these guys might. Maybe by the load. Whatever. It's cool. It's all good. I got around them. In 600 meters, keep to the left on Highway 16 East. Absolutely, Karen. Thank you. I'm glad you're concerned about my ability to get home safely and on the correct route. Whoa, 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 whoa! Dude! Within inches of my truck. Within inches. Come on. In 200 meters, keep to the left on Highway 16 East. Tell you the things we gotta deal with out here. Bunch of crazies. I don't trust any of these people. None of them. It's like, what's this guy gonna Continue do? Are you, are you gonna cut into my lane? Kilometers. You're gonna cut into my lane? Yeah, you're gonna try to cut into my lane, aren't you? How about you turn your signal on and I'll make room for you? No, you're just gonna tailgate that pickup there? Okay. Oh, you can come into my lane if you want. <laughs> don't get people. Out of the darkness comes a flying jay. <laughs> yeah, we're in Davidson. I'm going to bed here. I am finished for the day. Finito. Find a place to park here and uh, we'll be up in the morning. I'm, I'm going to fuel in the morning too. If it was like minus 30 outside, I would never go to bed without full tanks of fuel. But no, I am. I'm just kaput for today. <laughs> I'm going to park beside uh, one of the other trucks I see there. 
And I'll talk to you in a little bit. Can you see it or does the camera not pick it up? There's a truck parked right here in front of us and I'm gonna back in right beside him. Right beside this guy hauling the grader. I know my camera's not really picking up a lot at night and YouTube for some reason always darkens it yet even more. So it's really hard to get good night shots. Diesel. Keith, hey, Diesel, what's this? <laughs> Crazy boy, you're supposed to leave the fluff inside the toys. First, look at me vacuuming. I know, right? You have to when you have a dog. When you have a dog, you have to have a vacuum. All right. Oh. Take the bed down. Mm-hmm. Roll it on out. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Take the bedding down. Oh yeah, and there you go. A bed fit for a king. Fit for a trucker Josh and a weasel. So thanks for watching today everybody. My day's over. I'm really tired. Had a bit of a stressful day. But I'll see you tomorrow. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you think other people should watch my videos, share them out. Let them see them. We'll see you tomorrow.